Hey, happy new year my investor friends, wish you all the best. On today's video, we will simply run through the discounted cash flow method to evaluate the attractiveness of Palantir and to see whether Palantir today is a good buy. Let's go. Thank you all for watching today's video. I'm your host Ali Barry. Please don't forget to smash the like button, destroy it literally and subscribe to the channel because new content is coming soon. The discounted cash flow method is widely used as a technique and is taught today to all schools of finance. Simply put, this model takes into account the expected future cash flows and discounts them to the present value. This model is a lot simpler than you might think. Since I don't want to keep you waiting up until the end of the video, I will give you the price that I found and if you stick along, you can see the full analysis and my assumptions. My result is $22.2 per share for Palantir stock, suggesting that Palantir stock is 4% overvalued or otherwise fair devalued to today's stock price of $23. If you want, skip until the end of the video to see my thoughts on my results. Before further ado, let's get into the analysis. We're going to use the two-stage discounted cash flow model. It takes into account two stages of growth. The first stage is high growth for a certain period of time and the second stage is slower growth in perpetuity. To start off, we need to estimate the next 10 year cash flows. Where possible, we use analyst estimates. But when these aren't available, we extrapolate the previous free cash flows from the last estimate or reported value. We assume companies with shrinking free cash flows will slow their rate of shrinkage and companies with growing free cash flows will see their growth rate slow over this period. We do this to reflect that growth tends to slow in the early years than it does in the later years. The DCF idea is that a dollar in the future is worth less than a dollar today. To continue with my calculations, I have done two important assumptions that you, my investor friends, should know. The first assumption is the required rate of return, or WAC, weighted average cost of capital. In this case, I have used 7.1% based on the levered beta of 0.968. Beta is a tool to measure stock volatility compared to the overall market. We get our beta from the average of other comparable companies. The second important assumption that I have done is the growth of the future free cash flows that I have taken from other financial analysts. Down below, you can see the projected free cash flows from 2021 up until 2030 based on the growth rate that you can see below. Then the free cash flows are discounted to today's present value. And finally, we get the result of the present value of the next 10 year free cash flows of Palantir coming at 8.9 billion dollars. Now that we have finished with this stage, proceeding with the second stage, estimating the terminal value using the Gordon formula, the Gordon model tells us that we have to multiply the free cash flows of 2030 by 1 plus the perpetual growth rate of we assume 2% divided by the required rate of return of 7.1% minus the 2% of growth rate, giving us a result of 54 billion dollars Let's not forget that we have to discount the terminal value and bring it to the today's present value, giving us a result of $27 billion. The total value or equity value is then simple. It's just by summing up the present value of the free cash flows, which in this case is $36 billion. And the last step is to divide the equity value that we have calculated by the number of outstanding shares. We get a result of $22.2 per share. You have to keep in mind that this is an approximate valuation. The bottom line of this video is to show you that by crunching the numbers, thanks to the huge price decrease in the past week reaching today as the time of this recording 23.3 dollars thanks to the real numbers we can see a real opportunity lying ahead however this model has one limitation it doesn't take into account fast growing companies and industries since all free cash flows are based on previous years so we can say that this model deflates by a lot the valuation of pltr 
Personally, I believe that PLTR today is a great opportunity. I will be waiting for the price to reach my target of $22 so I can buy even more shares of this great company. Thank you guys so much for watching the video up until the end. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in my next video.